Welcome to the Ottawa Hospital. This video will review patient-controlled analgesia, or PCA. You may be a candidate for this type of pain control after your upcoming surgery. Patient-controlled analgesia, or PCA, is a device used to help patients with pain control after surgery. It is a computerized pump, controlled by patients, that gives small doses of pain medications by intravenous when needed. Typically, an opioid medication, also referred to as a narcotic, is used in the pump. Other medications can also be added to the opioid based on patient needs. The PCA is used after different types of surgeries when extra pain control is needed. You will discuss this further with your anesthesiologist if this option is right for you. Your healthcare team will also review the device and how to use it before it's started. It is important to note that a PCA is only one part of pain management after surgery. Other medications, which work differently than opioid medications, will also likely be used. The PCA pump is programmed to deliver the correct amount of pain medication as prescribed by your anesthesiologist. Once the pump has been programmed, it is connected to your IV. You are provided with a small handset that rests at your bedside. When you have pain, you push the button on the handset and a dose of medication is delivered. A small green light flashes on the handset only if pain medication is available to you at the time. Once you receive a dose of medication, there is a certain amount of time that you will need to wait until the button can be pushed again, usually around 5 to 10 minutes. This is referred to as the lockout time and is a safety feature to make sure that you do not receive too much medication. If the green light is not flashing, you will not be able to give yourself a dose regardless of how many times you push the button. It typically takes 3 to 5 minutes until you will feel the medication begin to work and it will last between 30 and 60 minutes. The PCA has many advantages. It allows you to have some control in managing your pain. This can decrease anxiety, which in turn can decrease pain. Pain relief is very rapid with the PCA and you will not have to wait to receive pain medications from the healthcare team. PCAs can be quite useful for certain types of pain that happen with movement, such as getting out of bed, participating in physiotherapy, or dressing changes. Overall, patients who use a PCA tend to need less pain medication when compared to the same medication given by pill or injection under the skin. As with all treatments, there is a possibility of unwanted side effects with the PCA. The most common side effects related to opioid medications include sedation, nausea, vomiting, constipation, and itchiness. Opioid medications can also affect and slow breathing, especially when too much is given. Your healthcare team will monitor you closely for your response to these medications. Opioid medications given by IV work very quickly. However, they do not last as long. For example, an opioid medication given by IV typically lasts 30 to 60 minutes, while the same medication given as a pill lasts 3 to 4 hours. In order to decrease the risks associated with the PCA, it is important to remember that you are the only person who should push the button to deliver pain medication. Do not allow others, including family and friends, to push the button for you unless otherwise instructed by your healthcare team. A PCA is typically used for a couple days after surgery. This varies from person to person and according to the surgery. A representative from the acute pain service will see you each day while you have the PCA in order to make sure that your pain is well controlled. The acute pain service is also available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for any concerns about your pain management. When the PCA is no longer needed, you will be switched over to similar pain medications in pill form. Please feel free to watch this video again and to ask any questions you have during your appointment in the preoperative assessment unit. Thank you for watching.